So I've got the camera pulled back really far today. Uh, pardon me while I make a couple of last moment adjustments here. Because we're going to be taking apart this monstrosity. Which is a, well as you can see it says it's a Shiatsu Master Elite. Um, it's one of those things that's supposed to like massage your neck. But my boyfriend tried it and I tried it. And it was just painful. Uh, it really, like, just pinches really hard. For me, it actually left a couple of faint bruises. And this is it running. It can go this way. Or it can go this way. Now, judging by the way it vibrates and the deep thrum that it puts off, we've got a really big motor in here, which I'm kind of excited to take apart. Um, and it doesn't seem to have any other, like, you know infrared or any electronics in it so we're probably gonna we're gonna have a, a motor for sure and some gears um <clears throat> a rather nice rocker switch here on the side um and maybe a transformer to step the voltage down or maybe it's a 120 volt motor but uh with all that said i'm going to go ahead and unplug it here and uh, let's go ahead and start taking it apart. I'm going to be using a power tool, so uh, apologies for the loud sounds. I'm actually just going to... Can I do this on camera? I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm not going to... Well, maybe. Hang on. My workspace is not really conducive to giant objects like this. Anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and get started on these screws. Hopefully uh, there aren't any two heavily hidden screws. Here's one over here in the handle, which is probably off camera. There we go. And then I got one up here. Yeah, it's coming right apart. I didn't really even need to use the impact driver. Oh, this one's going to be loud because it's right next to the mic. I'll try to do it quietly. And then this one. All right, let's see if that was enough, because it's got these little feet bits. Let's see, do we have any any holes here? Oh, we do have a hole here. Let's see what's... Well, let's see if we can actually get it apart. Or maybe it's got some of these screws. It's kind of feeling like... Um, it's feeling like I didn't get one of the screws out all the way. Oh, no, that one's loud all the way. Let's see. Um, come on. Yeah, that's loose. That's loose. Okay. Uh, oh. There goes the top half. All right. I need to keep that. That's just the fabric cover for the bits. Now I need to uh, carefully. Um, this is. I should have pulled those screws out before continuing. Uh, do I have a magnet? This is a very spontaneous project, so uh, pardon the sort of uh, absent-minded randomness as I try to get the thing apart. Let's see, can I get these out? With the yes, I can. Excellent. I'm just going to pull these screws out with my little spring-loaded clamps here so that I don't have to scatter them all over. Do do do. And I flip it over. All right. So there's all the screws out of the way. <clears throat> now, let's... Uh, my mic still going? All right. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's intense. So, uh, we got these kind of hard rubber wheels, and we got some pretty intense looking gearbox here, 120 volt motor that is really beefy, and... Uh, Oh, this is actually kind of hilarious. Uh, let's get you out. Give me just a second here. Uh, there we go. And grab that with the forceps. Get that out of there. So this Tenta capacitor for microfarad 250 volt AC capacitor, this is the kind of capacitor you'll see in those scam devices that say, Oh, it'll help save power by, you know, balancing your inductive and capacitive loads, yada, 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 yada. And 
Well, there is some science behind it. They're a complete and utter scam because most things in your household are inductive loads, or capacitive loads. There are some inductive loads, like your dishwasher and your washing machine and stuff like that, but uh, capacitive power supplies, they're all, uh, or not capacitive power supplies, switch mode power supplies are uh, very heavily capacitive loads. And uh, so I'm going to plug this into the mains and uh, let's have a look at it in operation. Um, but yeah, so most switch mode power supplies are largely capacitive load, so adding a capacitive load to your household is only going to make your power factor worse, but the thing is, you don't get charged for power factor in a residential unit, so it's not even a big deal. So, this is what it looks like in operation. With That looks really kind of mildly suggestive. Um, <clears throat> so we've got the AC motor here, it looks like there's a worm gear, and then there's some big gears along here. So, uh, and then you can make it go backwards. Um, and that's actually what this little motor run capacitor here is for. Uh, I believe that's how it works. Um, that should be how it works. Let's see. Do, 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 do. It makes sure that the motor goes one way or the other. Um, if I'm remembering my motor control stuff correctly, but it's been a while since I, I did any of that motor control stuff. I should unplug this before I keep prodding around in there. Um, ouch. That wasn't me zapping myself, that was me stabbing myself on a exceedingly sharp uh, piece of zip tie. Um, well, I think I think that zip tie needs to go away anyway, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take revenge on the zip tie. And snip. There we go. The zip tie go away. Alright, uh, well, I think the next thing that needs to come off is the top of these gear housings, so let's see what we got going in here. That, that is an epic screw. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oops. Well, that's not actually the sound of me, well, talk about it after I... That uh, banging noise you heard wasn't actually the sound of uh, me stripping that screw. Uh, this is an impact driver, which when it uh, registers a certain amount of torque on the, the shaft, it um, stops applying rotational torque and starts applying an inertial. It kind of bangs at it so that your bit doesn't slip, and it gives it sort of an impulse that knocks the screw loose. They're really great, because you actually can't strip screws with these. But you can end up driving them far deeper into something than you want. Uh, which can be a disadvantage. Oh, that's a much shorter one. Alright. Continuing on. Yeah, that, that initial snap there was the, uh, the impact part of it kicking in. I have absolutely no idea how they work. <laughs> That was probably really loud right in the mic. Um, I, I've l tried to look into the mechanics of how these things work, but I'm not a mechanical engineer. They're, they're witchcraft to me. But it's a very cool, cool thing. Very nice tool to own. Uh, saves you from destroying screws. Alright, now... Um, do we have any... Oh! Oh. Oh my. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, so that's that assembly. This little thing right there. Okay. Um, well, let's go ahead and take this out of its plastic housing. I'm going to have to feed this cable uh, through the handle here. How much are we? Oh, we're only at 10 minutes. Excellent. This will be a longer video. I was thinking it might end up being. Uh, somewhat of a longer video if it uh, ended up being more complex, but it looks like this is a pretty pretty dirt simple thing. I'm looking forward to uh, holding on to this motor for scrap. Um, although I also kind of want to take it apart. Maybe I can do both. These, uh, these motors are actually, you can 
take the whole thing apart and service pieces inside them um, and then put them back together. All right, so um, let's go ahead and remove these screws, which were stripped by whoever assembled it. Must have not had the impact driver. There we go. Got short little machine screws. There we go. Close this one. I'm going to be able to take this gearbox open in a moment here. I'm a little bit starved for content on the channel. Uh, I'm uh, kind of out of money at the moment, so I'm waiting to uh, get some disposable income so that I can do some more appropriate projects. I've got a lot of stuff on the back burner just because I don't have the parts that I need to actually pull them off. But, uh, I had a neat idea for a, a follow-up video on capacitors uh, earlier today, so I'll be uh, doing some proof of concept and uh, initial testing on that. Um, I haven't continued my series on... Oh, that's just going to come right out. Ooh, oh, that's horrifying. Oh, gross. Okay, well, that's... Uh, that's really nasty looking stuff. Um, ew. Oh, it's already getting all over my bench. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, there's more screws. That's why it's not coming apart. Okay. Well, may as well dive into this horror show all the way. But I don't know what kind of grease they used in this, but it is sticky and blackish brown and really quite super goopy. Uh, I guess it's probably that viscous to make sure that it sticks around. Oh, this is really gross. Um, am I gonna have to... These... No, they don't. Okay. Ew, 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 ew. There we go. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got a couple of really big gears, which I anticipated. Um, some rubber rings. That's that's a little interesting. That might oh, well. yeah. I guess the intent of the rubber rings was probably to keep the the grease inside the gearbox, as you can clearly see. Uh, well, maybe they put that in there on purpose, but uh, there's definitely grease inside the gearbox as well. And of course, oh, gross. <laughs> ew, 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 ew. Of course, this thing is covered in it. Um, but yeah, it's really simple. The, this thing spins, these things turn, and then these hard rubber things leave bruises on your neck. Um, so I'm just going to take this horrible mess and put it right over here. Because, ew. <laughs> Alright, now just for fun, uh, don't try this at home, children and adults that are watching. Uh, let me do this so that I can electrocute myself and then you guys don't have to. But of course the goal is to not electrocute myself. Where are my paper towels? Ah, there they are. My, uh, my room here is a bit of a disaster. Somewhere in the piles of mess that I've got here, I actually have a... Uh, actually, I'm going to unplug this again real quick. Somewhere in this, this disaster, I have um, a paper towel holder that I'm supposed to mount on my wall right over there so that I have immediate access. So I'm going to try to wipe off the, the worst of this really horrifying lubricant that, oh, jeez, that is just really disgusting. So, I'm just going to kind of see if I can sort of unscrew this and clean off the, the most of the, the grease here. Well, that seems to be working, mostly. There's still some grease pretty, pretty deep in the threads there, but at least I can get rid of most of the surface crap. Oh, that is really gross. It's probably not making its way into the mic, but as, as I was wiping it off, it was making this sort of sticky, slurpy, 
noise. It was just, ugh. Sorry, pardon me while I completely get grossed out here. All right, so now we can see this thing just run on its own. And there's absolutely no point to this, it's just kind of interesting. So, that is an incredibly quiet motor when it's not attached to anything. Self-cooling, it's got a little fan here on the end. That actually looks really weird on, on the screen there, because this is of course running at 60 Hz, which means that this is running at 60 RPM. So, depending on the thread count, yeah, that's causing a really kind of strange sort of shimmery effect, at least on my screen. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like once I've uploaded it. But yeah, um, expect to see this motor maybe in a future video once I figure out something to do with it. Um, even if that something is just dismantling it. Although I'd need a, a tool to pull that pin in order to take it apart. But uh, yeah, so there's the dismantlement of the uh, rather crappy quote shiatsu end quote massager thing. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, consider clicking here to subscribe. Right over here is a video from my channel that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Right here is the... I well, guess I'll put the teardowns playlist right here. And right here is a link to Patreon, which you can use to help fund further stupid projects like, well, hopefully smarter projects. Uh, not like this one, but this was just kind of fun. It was a, a piece of crap that we had laying around. So anyway, bye-bye.